Today we're going to be playing Pokemon Quest, continuing off where we left off. This game is going to get a lot more difficult from here on out. I'm not too sure how many more expeditions we can clear with the current team that we have. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do a lot of uh, possibly some training or changes in the near future. Uh, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into things real quickly here. I believe we have a Voltorb on the top left that we can just go ahead and grab. Uh, hopefully it does have a good level uh, we'll probably be able to use that on Flareon's next adventure of training I failed uh, by removing four really high level Pokemon through now actually three high level Pokemon yesterday I had 56 or 60 percent um, to training up Flareon and it ended up failing so I wasn't upset about that should have been more patient but sadly I wasn't my current team is at 72 32 rock and defensive tank mode cloister uh, Flurion for the offensive, and then uh, being melee, and then Alakazam for the offensive being ranged. Uh, this is my current team. I've used all of my Pokemon up for the uh, for the three Pokemon that we currently got, and they're all gemmed and stacked out. So we also have the option to picking up our daily PM tickets. So without further ado, let's go ahead and grab those. Um, I will back up. I'd usually do that after the live stream, so please don't remind me about that. Uh, nothing to purchase off of the sword just at this moment. Uh, decorations, can we purchase any more at 50? Nope. The next one we're going to get is the Squirtle Flag at uh, 100. So we'll go ahead and pick up that in just a bit. Ooh. I got a DM on freaking Twitter. Hell yeah. It goes down in the DM. It go down. It go down. Alright. Let's go ahead and pick up that Voltorb. See what it's cooking with this thing. Oh, trash. Sonic Boom, I believe. Nope, Tackle. It's even worse. I don't even know if we can learn Sonic Boom in this game, but it is a bad Voltorb. Um, let's just see. I mean, I'm not going to use it yet, but uh, I'll most likely use that on Pikachu just because it's a decent level. It is also electric type, just like Pikachu, so Pikachu should get a lot of levels from that. Actually, only three. That's actually real trash. But anyways, let's go ahead and get out of there. What's up, Zen Online? As always, thank you very much for tuning in. Let's go ahead and hit up the expeditions. We're going to go ahead and try to clear the one that we were failing on last night. Uh, we did get some upgrades in the team, and uh, we weren't too far away from it. But uh, 7-5, 8-5, they're both at around 10,500, 10,800, and 9-4 at 11,600. Those are really far. Uh, the next lowest one is 10-2 uh, at 9,200. So uh, about 2k away from being able to complete that. But I'm just going to go ahead and give it an attempt anyways. I thought you've already been playing Pokemon Quest, broski. How far are you in it now? So you've been lying to me this whole time. Alright, turn off auto, light screen, withdraw. Oh, okay, I see. Did you uh, back up and uh, transfer over the uh, the one that you were using on your Switch? Oh my gosh, this is so, so difficult. Alright, Florian should be able to take care of that. And I'm just going to go ahead and recap my defenses really quick. Not bad. We did get a gem already, which is pretty good. But, I mean, we still got to get through this whole thing. Ah, uh, okay. How far are you now? Oh, man. That shoulder's just barely squeaking from that freaking flamethrower right now. I like how Flareon has to take care of these shoulders while the other two Dumbos are struggling to kill a Slowpoke. Alright, well, Flareon's done because that was three water types against uh, one fire type. I wonder, Pikachu. I wonder, well, it's online for me, so should be good to go. What's up, Sylveon? Thank you very much for tuning in. 
What's good about this app is it pretty much tells me right away when it goes offline. So I know when it goes offline usually. So that might have been on your end. But thank you very much for alerting me though. Never know. The app could sometimes be wrong. Oh man, this is uh, this is not going to be easy. I f to be honest, I forget who the Pokemon or the boss Pokemon was in this level. Oh, that shoulder gotten cooked into a clam chowder. Alright, withdraw. Light screen. Oh, I forgot about these. The spikes. The nasty spikes. Chloe, sir, can you please... Oh, okay, you still hit it. Oh, they're both gonna die by the time. Oh, we... Damn. Withdraw, please. That's weird. I have it watching right now. Well, I mean, two people against one say. Go ahead and hit that. Finish that one off. Oh man, it's already dead. I forget. It is Seedra that we have to deal with right now. I didn't go into this using uh, Withdraw, which kind of sucks. Run away. No, to the walls. Actually, this cloister just pisses me off. I'm not going to lie. Where you at? Okay. Right there. Really? I mean, I, I wish there was a button where it would just allow you to uh, quit this expedition, because there's no way. I saw the message, Sylvia. I don't know what that is. Alright, Cloyster, uh, you know, I'm not even gonna withdraw. I'm just gonna let you die. Because, uh, there's no way I can get this one down. We're gonna go back into the recap, though, where we were yesterday. I'm not 100% sure where I left off, though. We'll figure it out. Do you want to give up on an expedition? You'll lose, of course. Let's go ahead and try something real quick. Streamwise. If I use chat, bring chat back. What if I? All right. Hopefully, streams back. Just paused it and turned it back on. I have no clue, but hopefully, it's back. We just completed a quest. What would that be? Stay strong. Oh, yeah, that's the new stone. That new, new. Alright, well, I can't complete this, so. I have to kind of figure out where I left off yesterday. I don't really remember, which sucks. We were re clearing 7 5, but I don't remember which one we left off on. I remember we did one, two, and two. Could it have been three, or am I at four? To finish what? Well, we'll start off with seven dash three, just in case we didn't do it, or we did it. Even if we did it, it's still a decent amount of XP because my team's a little bit below it. Oh, you've already completed the video. You rendering it right now? Go ahead and put this on auto. I like his aim. You're just so slow. <laughs> You're so slow. I hope this isn't the double wheezing one because I believe that was the last one we did yesterday. 
Oh, okay. I thought you meant there's a minute and 40 seconds left until you've completed it. Or until it's done. Wow, how'd you take so much damage for it? I'm not even watching it, that's the problem. Tangela. My Alakazam needs to learn Psychic. That's like the that's num that's number two on the list. Get rid of Takedown from Flareon. Take off Light Screen from Alakazam and try to teach it Psychic. I gotta figure out what type of moves Cloyster can learn too, because I wouldn't mind switching Bubble off for something else. Hmm, I wonder if Cloyster could... Nah, I don't know. Ice type or water type? I gotta Google it, though. Try to see what moves Cloyster can learn. I definitely need it to keep withdrawal, but... You never know. Might need to switch bubble. Another defensive move would be nice. Victory Bell. Did I do this one yesterday? I don't remember, but we should be good. I believe I did do it, but it's all good. It's not the end of the world. Flareon, get in there. I don't. I think he I think he uh he got younger, which should not happen. All the other characters look great. The anime looks great. The storyline's pretty cool. All the characters are pretty decent. But Ash looks stupid. And Ash, it's like Ash forgot everything too from his past. It's just like they did a reset on him. Uh, Flareon, almost back up. We'll get this though. Cloyster is good. What, Flareon died right away? What did I miss? That was a pretty slick dodge there, Alakazam. I'm not. Denki sucks. His whole squad sucks. <laughs> He's too dorky in this damn show. Cho Cho's hot though. I'll tell you that much. Ooh, 38. See, I told you. Upgrades. And I'm not talking about the Cho Cho you know. I'm talking about the last episode. Alright, so... That gem. Let's see if we can use it. Uh, yeah, butterfly cho cho. All day, every day. What, 229? What? Why is it so bad? That sucks, man. That's not fair. Cooking should be done after this one, so 7-4, here we come. I'm going to keep it on auto, but I'll keep an eye on this one. You never know, this one could go wrong. Should be fine, though. <laughs> Flamethrowers are so good. 
If you can get them in the flamethrower, oh my gosh, the amount of damage Flareon does. Well, so far so good on this one. PC's playing this pretty good. Except for the two Pokemon that are paralyzed at the moment, but other than that, we're pretty good. Hoping to get some decent Pokemon from the cooking, especially some fire types, that would be great. Another gem. But so far right now, uh, besides leveling up, of course, prioritizing, uh, getting rid of takedown, getting rid of light screen, and possibly getting rid of bubble. I'm not 100% sure yet on the cloister. I gotta find out what moves cloister can learn, first of all. Facing off against Muck. Alright, I don't remember doing this yesterday, so we should be good to go. And what sucks is the knockbacks, so they always get out of freaking flamethrower. Hit him with another one. Ooh, the damage. Flurry on Mountain. Oh, we need to get the burn off, too. Good job. This muck is so tanky. But he barely does any damage. Like, Alakazam is one of the worst defensive Pokemon in the game. He's getting hit, and he's still at full health. He, he outheals the amount of damage Muck does. Alright, here's the issue, though. The 50,000 toxicity freaking grammars. I'm so glad I was able to complete the uh, pre-patch stuff today on Battle for Azeroth. Uh... I mean, I, I can pretty much say it's Battle for Azeroth now. I completed it with Summon Pet and Shadow Bolt spams. I couldn't put anything else on my bars. I'm so happy though, the Ruins of Lordaeron was a scenario. So I just had to put someone on follow every time after a cutscene happened. And I got it completed. Otherwise, that would have been impossible. Come on, team! Alakazam, you should be doing a lot more damage. Alright, Flareon's back. Flareon's ready to smash with the flamethrowers. In three, two, one, let it rip. It's done. We got this. Told ya. So we got two gems. So that might be two upgrades. Hopefully it is. Always looking for upgrades from gems. No one's leveling up right now, so we'll keep going. Ooh, 357. That is definitely an upgrade. We'll check out the other one, though. Completed a quest. Always definitely good to check these out. Poison. See if we can upgrade the squad. I believe we can, especially with one of them. We'll find out first who's going to get it. Okay, perfect. So, I believe, yeah, they're both Alakazams. Because Cloyster only has 30 stones. Alright, Alakazam, what do you got? What do you got? So you get a 299 and a 322 that we're going to get rid of. And then Flareon, we'll take the two that we just removed from Alakazam. And uh, we shall recycle. How far are we from getting the next gem slot? Cloyster, what do you got? 
I'm hoping Cloyster just sticks with Sturdies. Okay, Cloyster's really close. Maybe next level or the level after. Alakazam and Flareon are not close. Okay, that sucks. Alright, got about a little bit, about 100 towards the team. Cooking should be done. Let's go check it out. Who's that Pokemon? Well, first of all, we got XL Size. Grayish Pokemon. Nidoran? Or which one is it? That looks like a female. Yep. You can tell by the ears. Big. Ooh! Level 61 needle ring, what's up? Nose mud slap. Alright, gonna keep that bad boy on the team right now. Um, with that being said, get back into the egg. Oh, wait, no, we gotta cook. We gotta cook. Gotta get back to the base camp. Apologize. We'll get back into some expeditions, see if we can get another Pokemon from the camp. The camp cooking. Alright, that's going to be a fiver. Alright, we're not going to be able to get it, but it's all good. We're just going to keep going with expeditions. Get some levels up, see what we can do, and go from there. Alright, so we've done 7 dash, 3 and 4. So I've done 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to go ahead and try 5 just to see what we're looking at here. Even though it's more difficult than Expedition 10, but you never know. Type differences and all that stuff. It just might not even be good, but you never know. We'll fight, we'll figure it out. So we still got that the uh, still got the grass types. So Florian should be able to do some bits. I'm interested in seeing what this is all about. Ooh, Rainbow Cook. Turn around, Flareon, please. It's really useless for me to use takedown because uh, Flareon's auto attack is fire. Does a lot more than takedown and doesn't have a recoil. So that's nice. And we got them all stacked in that freaking flamethrower. I can't use any of my moves right now. Otherwise, they'd knock them out. <laughs> Good job, Flareon. Alright, that's stage one completed. Got wave two. If only I could put a healer on my team. Alright, knock him away. Keep going with the knocks. And here we go. Is that a Caterpie? What is a Caterpie? Oh, that's a Metapod. Perfect, they followed Cloyster. You're gonna get all three, I believe. Yep. You need to. I don't know what's going on with my Alakazam, though. He really does not deal that much damage. And I'm comparing him to the online stats. His damage is actually really bad and it's confusing me. Alright, not too bad. I want to see Alakazam's health though. It's not showing me. Oh, Vile Plume. Great. And that's a sarcastic great because uh, you're probably going to get spores up a storm here. I need some I need some burnings. There it is, toxic. If I can get you just away. nope, couldn't get you away. Tried to pull uh yeah, toxics is just melting my cloister right now. Falakazam can get gloom out of the way, that'd be great. Hit that gloom hard. 
Good job. Run away. Good job, Cloyster. Uh, get that vial plume on you, my G. Alright, good job. Uh... Oh, this is this is nerve wracking. Can you get it off? Yes, get a flame off. Get a flame. Get it. Get it off real quick. Run away. Oh, Flareon, you didn't run. Thank you for the knock. You deal so much damage via plume. I need a knock. I need a knock. Knock him back. Double knock. Double knock. Thank you. Alright. There we go. Get a burn. Get a burn. He already got hit. Uh, back to the walls. And you have no withdrawal. You're dead. I mean, the thing is, we're very close to being able to complete this and Expedition 10. That's two that we're really close to being able to beat. So, just like a couple days ago when we just spammed through a bunch of expeditions, that's what will be going on. So, 7-5 I can't do. Go ahead and uh, get into some recaps on 8. Put it on auto. This is going to be a cakewalk. So we've recapped all of Expedition 7 for right now. We did an attempt on... Uh, on Expedition 10. The poison was the main issue. The uh, the grass types didn't do too much to Cloyster. It was mainly when it had the poison on it. I, th I don't think the defensive uh, withdraw... Poison bleeds through the withdraw, so it doesn't... The defensive tank buff from Withdraw doesn't uh, have an effect. Because Poison is just a, a debuff over time, so it's just going to take the damage no matter what. So if he doesn't get poisoned, I can technically outlast it and win. Because that Poison was definitely the problem. What the hell? Oh my gosh. I was seeing things. I thought I saw Cub Chews. I was like, wait. That's like... Nowhere near Expedition 1. I mean, Generation 1. <laughs> yeah, we're getting through this Expedition very easily. I shouldn't have to... Partake in this. All these high level Pokemon that I get from my cooking, like they're level 70 and 60 plus. I might have to start seeing how good they can do. If I can ever get one with a good moveset. I'm going to have to start trying them out. Because they might help. That's a perfect, oh, uh, what is a perfect flamethrower? There we go. Taking a nap, Flareon. That's not a good spot to nap. Place, I love how Cloyster just pushing Flareon into it. Damn, this Wigglytuff got some fighting moves. Damn. This wiggly tough angry. Yeah, my cloister's not gonna take any damage from these guys. Flareon came in. Chomped them all up. Good job. Mm. 
the cooking regions were great on that poll. Uh, we also seemed Flareon's gonna probably hit 40 today, plus 230 sturdy stone. Doesn't sound good. I'll check it out though. And that Nidoran can probably evolve into a Nido Queen pretty quickly. Yeah, it's nowhere near good. Alright, hit up 8-2. Get some more experience in the bag. Hopefully a decent gem. Gonna keep it on auto, see if it can uh, deal with this. But for those of you tuning in, thank you all very much for tuning in to youtube.com. So, whether we're attached, you've got questions, post in the comment section down below or live stream chat. I'll be sure to answer as soon as possible. If new around here, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, help us reach our goal of my next major goal is 2,500 subs. But uh, pretty much, I usually do a giveaway every 100 subs. I started this at 1,000 subs. And I've been, I'm going to do it all the way into 2,500 subs. So there's a giveaway every 100 subscribers. But currently we have a major giveaway because of the 24-hour live stream next week. So go ahead and check out the current giveaways that are in the description box down below. Oh, the soft boils. It's just going to run away, which is what's so annoying. I think if you can kill it, you get a good, nice drop. That's what I think. Like, you might get a nice gem from killing Chansey. I don't think I have yet to kill one, though. But then again, I've never even been... But from what I've noticed, I've never actually been playing whenever I see it. It's usually on auto. So I can't time my moves or abilities correctly. What is that debuff we've got right now? I'm trying to think of what it is, where it came from. Bring it on, Arbok. Bring it. Ooh, okay. Coyster hitting hard right away. And dodging. That was a nice taunt, Coyster. That's actually perfect timing right now. Flareon, please. No, not now. You just knock back. Well, I guess Arbok likes it, so. I could always use a snakeskin wallet fam. That wasn't nice. Zarbok actually does a lot of goddamn damage. What's going on? Are you going to withdraw or what? I know it's on cooldown, but you keep using bubble. I might have to step in. Nope, never mind. We're good. Forty. Oh, so close. Alright, let's quickly check out those gems then.
That's a nice upgrade. Let's go ahead and put it in. I will be, yes, Sylvia. What's up, Dark Sin? And Alakazam, I think, is going to get this next one. And Flaming got an upgrade. So we did get an upgrade from that one. That's good. Get rid of the lows. And let's go ahead and do another recap. And we'll go ahead and attempt at some training too later today. I did see the quest completed. I will check it out after this. Gonna go ahead and keep this one on auto too. It should be fine. So when that, oh, I mean, they just run into it, but that's sometimes the one bad thing about Flareon's Flamethrower. It does a lot of damage, which is why I find it very useful against bosses when they kind of stand still for a little bit. But there's a lot of knockbacks and knockarounds, so they sometimes get out of sight from the Flamethrower. Like that. There was a knockback. Wow, we got through this expedition real quick. I kind of forget which boss this is, to be honest. Is it Licky Tongue? I'm not 100% sure. Well, we still got a lot of health from Alakazam and Cloyster, so keep bringing me these solo Pokemon and uh, we'll take care of it. See what we can do from there. And here comes the boss. Kangaskhan. Okay, no, yeah, we're good with this. I always thought this one was going to be bad, nasty, but we ended up being able to complete this one pretty quickly. Kangaskhan doesn't have that much defensive capabilities. Does a lot of damage with Dig, but... It's not as OP as you could think. Uh, withdraw, please. If you use bubble, I'm going to thank you. <laughs> Kangish Khan, what's going on with you, bro? You're like stuck. It's like you can't dig there or something. Well, here we go. Cake walk time, because now we got all of our Pokemon up at pretty decent health. Ah, oh, the knockbacks. Get back into the flames and take a burn. Take a burn, please. Nope, didn't get it off. Wow. I like his aim. You just took like 80% of your health in like one shot, bro. What are you, you going to do about that? Hit him off with a nice side beam. No one told you to get into the fight. <laughs> that is definitely true. Alright, another gem. Hopefully, upgrade. Pretty sure it is, due to the expedition. Level 40 Flareon, sweet. 
310 for sure. Upgrade. Let's go ahead and put it in. Nope, no megas. Ooh, next expedition is going to be a bonus. Alright, let's go ahead and get Cloyster. I believe it's Cloyster's the one that's going to take this gem based off of the number. Uh, yes. Uh, 302, 302. Go ahead and get rid of the 302. Alexam, you can take the next one that I just took off of Cloyster. Uh, 302 to 286. 286 can go to Flareon. Flareon, I can go ahead and give you an upgrade as well. See how we pass down and share? Two sixty-eight. Go ahead and get a quick little recycle in. All right, so let's go ahead and check up that quest real quick. Thank you for the reminder, and we're gonna see what we can get through the training. I'm most likely not gonna do it. Yesterday I did it with sixty percent. And uh, it failed. Uh, okay, PM tickets all day, every day. With that being said, cooking, I believe there's one more way, which kind of bothers me, but I mean, that just means tomorrow's is going to be that much more epic. Expedition bonus, cooking. Let's go ahead and see, Flurry, I know you're not going to get any. 15%. Yeah, that's bad. What's weird, too, is the leveling on you. From an electric type, that'll get you to 21. That's 3 levels. What if I bring in Nidoran? That's 23. That's 5 levels. That's not too bad. Alec Kazam, move learning. Um, 33%. Now, why is that higher than Flareon's? That makes no sense. Uh, it does, actually. Flareon's now level higher. So, that kind of sucks. I forgot, Flareon, I out-leveled you from Alakazam. I stopped leveling Alakazam for a while. But we'll keep those guys to go ahead and do some training. Most likely tomorrow. Um, let's go ahead and hit uh, base camp. So, one more expedition will complete cooking. We got an uh, expedition bonus to start off tomorrow. We got a lot of training to do tomorrow. We're now at a team total of 7,500. Um, so we're most likely going to be able to also complete a new expedition level tomorrow. Uh, but for those of you that tuned in tonight, thank you all very much for tuning in. I am not done. I am going to go ahead and start another live stream in probably less than three minutes from now. And we are going to be playing uh, Magikarp Jump. So hopefully I catch some of you over there. Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody.